Uh, should investors be staying away from, from luxury brands, specifically, though, until trade tensions with China subside? I don't think they have to stay away from them, but if you look at the overall sector, many, many of them are in downtrends. Now, they are retail, so typically retail, that's why they say Black Friday, retail is in the red until Black Friday, and then these stocks tend to turn around towards the end of the year. So because we're coming into the fall period, into the holiday period, these stocks might turn around, but many of them are in downtrends. My favorite, really, is Tiffany's. That stock is still very strong. So people are purchasing at Tiffany's. They've been branding themselves well, but many of them are down. I don't know if it's because of trade issues or people just aren't wanting to buy luxury because you really have stocks like Target and Walmart. They're performing very well, given that it's not seasonal time of the year for people to be shopping. So maybe people are going to those, those cheaper prices and not wanting to spend the money for luxury. I'm not sure it has everything to do with tariffs. Okay, and so as we're watching and we're taking a look at uh, Target up on the screen, we had Tiffany's up there a moment ago. Um, every, anytime we talk about Tiffany's, I, I like to bring up Signet Jewelers as well, just to see what's going on there. Signet seeing the opposite effect of Tiffany's. Uh, what is the difference between these two high luxury um, jewelers that are out there? Tiffany's, it's the brand name. It's the way that they market themselves. Yeah. They're, they're, very, they're very well at doing that. And also, they have very high-end things, and then they have low-end things. So, in other words, you could go in and buy something beautiful, gorgeous, with a Tiffany box for a present, and it could be under $200. It's not in the thousands of dollars, whereas some of these other jewelers, some of these other luxury brands, Louis Vuitton is a great one. I mean, there's nothing there that's cheap. I mean, right. everything's very, very expensive and high price. Uh, You're paying for the quality, of obviously. Look, I want to kind of broaden our conversation a little bit because we're talking luxury, but Brad and I were, were speaking just moments ago during during the break that we took, and we were talking about a, a company like Nike, which is seeing so much growth right now outside of Again, the US, good marketing. In the, but in the Asia-Pacific region, too. Mm -hmm. So so shouldn't the conversation about luxury stocks slowing down due to a slowdown in, a slowdown in demand in China, shouldn't we broaden that conversation to include the American companies now that are looking at China for a significant part of their growth as growth has matured here in the U.S. Listen, I think one of the reasons the market, we were up this morning in the pre-market and we gapped up this morning is because it came out that Trump is going to meet November 20th with the Chinese president. So I think that helped the market really recover a little bit from the sell-off this week. People, this, this, the wall is, the ready is not on the wall for China yet. I don't think that anyone wants us to get deeper and deeper into 2019. So hopefully all of these things with the tariffs can be resolved by the end of the year. But Trump is playing hardball. China doesn't want to let up. It is a concern for companies. I think if it stretches into the next calendar year, it will be more problematic. Right now, it's kind of wait and see where all these companies are like hovering. And some companies, actually, some luxury brands, none, none that we mentioned here, but some I bought in Italy, for example, shoe, a shoe designer. It's called Rene Cavell. I bought in Italy. They're covering the tariff. They're paying for it now to sell in the U.S. So that you have companies now that are they want to sell their product and their high-end products, and they will pay the tariff and cover it for you, which in the past they didn't. So some companies are compensating for it, again, if it's very high price. That's a very high price shoe designer. Some don't want to do that. Right. You mentioned Black Friday, the holiday season. NRF already predicting that we're going to see about 4.3, 4 4.8% uh, year-over-year increase in terms of spending. Um, how could this impact positively or Perhaps there's an adverse impact as well for some of these high value, uh, high cost, high fashion retailers. Well, you might, see, you might see some buying in these stocks towards the end of the year. Yeah. Consumer sentiment numbers were down today, but overall, consumer confidence has been high. People are confident in the policies of this administration as far as where we're headed in the right direction for the economy. And I think people are going to spend money this holiday season more than maybe you even saw last holiday season. Will they be season. more cost conscious, though, or will they go That's for the, the big thing. ticket items? That's what I'm saying. Look at Target. And you yeah. say, well, maybe they are not going to spend on luxury. Maybe they're going to spend the home builders. Home Depot is another one. People are buying things to improve their homes. And then you see stocks like Target and Walmart. So you say maybe they're not spending on luxury items. But again, look at the, look at the people who are shopping right. at these stores, okay? They're not the millionaires necessarily and the billionaires. So are they hoarding their money right now because they're worried about what's going to happen with the overall economy? That's, you know, you saw a lot of selling in the last week. People are up. People are taking profits. People have made money in the market. And so maybe you have some of these people that want to get out take their money, hold on to it, wait to see what happens going into next year and see if they want to buy back into the market today. Melissa Armo, owner of the Stock Swoosh, joins us here today on Cheddar, good friend of the show. Thank